All right, guys. Uh, welcome to That Damn Show with uh, David, Anthony, and me, Mark. And uh, today is Black Friday, um, as I lovely refer to it as Rebecca Black Friday. I really should have had the song Friday, you know, queued up so I could play it a little bit for this. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, yeah. I, I did not. So how are you guys been? Hanging in there. Still got over the turkey coma, survived today, and... All the alerts and shopping this and shopping that, and it's the weekend. Can't complain. And here we are again. I am truly disappointed. Uh oh. Truly disappointed. I I don't. Even, <laughs> I don't even know how to voice my frustrations about this black cloud Friday that I've had. Um, let's start with Fye. And hey. Screw you to the little guys. We're only going to make a box for a medium and an extra large. What about the larges? What so, about the oh, larges? So it was the same in the stores? They just had the two sizes? It's the same in the stores. They only released two sizes today. Oh, boy. There is no in-between. There's zero in-between. And you know what? I got a bit of a gut. I'm a large. I don't fit a medium. And the extra large I swim in. So screw you. <laughs> oh, no. Just no. wash it. Wash yep, it and dry it. You're really, color. really hot. You know, I, you know, shrink I did. the crap out of them because they always shrink anyway. Yeah, that is true. I bought the medium and I read up on the keto diet. We'll see how it works. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, nice. But, but that's actually not even, that's not even where I'm really pissed off. Maybe David, not so much, but Mark, you're a Thanos guy. Can yep. you guess my utter frustration with a certain store and a, Pop release that never happened when it was supposed to. Do you, do you know what I'm hinting at, Mark? Did your hot topic not get the Thanos versus Captain America garbage movie oh. moment? No, it had two thousand of those. Where's my gauntlet in a dome? Coming That's out right. December. Comes out in December. They said it was supposed to be today. Nope. Somebody said that they thought it was going to be Black Friday, but Hot Topic actually released earlier this week that it's going to come out in December. Man, I was so no, pissed when I read that. I thought I thought maybe that they were they were just kind of teasing and that you would go there today and be like, surprise! And you want to know how much of a tease it was, guys? Let me give you this brief one. So I walk into my local Hot Topic, and on the bottom bottom shelf, what's there? A big fat blue box, and it looks gold <laughs> inside the dome. But it's some Star Wars pop, and it got me because it was backwards, and I was all. You know, really excited more than right. I am now. Obviously. And I was like, oh shit, there it is. But lo and behold, I don't have it. I gotta wait till December. I just I just think that I was so pissed off from the FYE situation that yeah. it carried into the yeah. hot topic. And you know, but they did have a good deal. The three for twenty four was cool. I saw a lot of people buying pops. I didn't need anything, so I just let it go. Well, you know, it's I got lucky. Well, it was on. I, I think you can still buy them online. I don't think it ever sold out. But uh, my boy P Town Pop Hunter picked me one up this morning. Sent me a message saying he already got it because he was at a uh, Fye bright and early when they opened in uh, Virginia. So I was already taken care of for that. I'd scored him a Beerus, the Flock Beerus, earlier this week. Ah, and, nice. Uh, there you go. So some good teamwork there. But uh, what did you pull? What did What did he get for you? Oh, the the Pennywise. Oh yeah, yeah. I I didn't know. Amy ended up staying home because the kids were still all sick and she wasn't feeling great too. So I thought I was going to be watching the kids all day today. So I had no idea how long I was going to have to like troll the internet and stuff like that because little baby only seems to be happy when little baby's held. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> and you know, sometimes I I'm just not real coordinated to have a phone and, baby <laughs> and you know, and yeah, definitely. W walking and chewing gum is difficult for me. So I mean, <laughs> no dropping a baby. Yeah, it, 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 you know. So I mean, guys. Overall, um, and then okay, and then you had GameStop with a in my area was a limit of two per person, but every GameStop I walked into, even into the evening hours, still had oodles and oodles of those mystery box that were obviously they weren't mysterious. With all well, that that must have been right, so right. They, they, they could beat the system because they had what thirty percent off if you spent a hundred dollars or more yesterday. Right. So they, they didn't want you buying a hundred dollars for the boxes and then getting one free. Well, makes sense. All right. I can see the theory in that, the logic. But don't worry, because they're all going to be like nine bucks a piece in like two weeks. Oh, oh exactly. I, I, I bought I, one. One I, online, and that was it. I, I, I'm good. I'm not a Pez guy. The only reason I actually nope. own any Pez, pardon me, I got one 
in a mystery box from the Fanatics forum that I belong to. Mm -hmm. um, and then I got one from a friend, Amanda, who it was a Stan Lee Pez. I couldn't pass it up after he passed away. Right, you know? right. So, uh, but I don't care for the Pezes. I don't care for the, not for nothing. Guys, we spoke about this. We've touched on this in previous shows. Uh, the retro cartoons that they dished out for this box was more of like, it, it was a bit of a farce because those weren't, yeah, as they're retro cartoons, maybe for a little bit of the younger generation, but those weren't our retro cartoons. So I really no. had no. I had no care in the world. You know, I thought about it after last week's show. Do I really care for the Megavolt? No, not at all. The glow was terrible. His his hands glowed. So, oh, that's it. I was wondering. I never saw any glow picks. Just the hands, that's it? And uh, part of the hat. Oh, oh, bummer. That sucks. So, you know. Hey, it's I, not as bad as the It one where they have the glowing egg. Oh, right. Exactly. Yeah. That just kind of glows. I mean, glow, right. I mean, <laughs> I can take pictures and make the glows look like they go like crazy because I'll I'll use a slow you know shutter speed you know and really let the light in in the dark you know and I make I can make those pictures look awesome even on that one it's just kind of like eh. uh, <laughs> oh, it, it's 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 not as bad as the Bigfoot marshmallow stick glow though that's probably the worst thing ever oh I don't oh, think I don't ridiculous. think I've even seen the glow on that one oh it's just just the marshmallow just the on the end of yeah. the stick that's it I don't know what they're doing with those but you know. Funko kind of had a, I'm going to call it Blue Monday this week, because they uh, kind of uh, ruined the lives of all those people that spent all that money on their uh, blue Mickey Mouses, uh -huh. especially the uh, the 10-inch ones. I mean, there were people that waited in line over four hours to spend $100 on a... Yeah, that's crazy. But you know, this, granted, it does have a different sticker. Yeah, yeah. I, I was going to follow up going. Look this week, but... You know that that sticker is going to be on eBay, and people are going to buy them and swap them out and sell them as the uh, the uh, expo ones, you know, so they can try to charge, you know, five times as much. Oh, of course, of course. I mean, the three dollar and twenty cents on eBay. I mean, it's a hundred. Right, exactly, exactly. Sometimes it's only two fifty shipped. <laughs> That's true. But uh, I'll, I'll be interested. I I'm guessing this will be the only one of the Mickey's that they do it on, but you never know. Mark, we lost video. We lost video of you. I still got him. You got him. Oh, okay, I, I have. I don't have him. But all right. Um. So Blue Monday comes and goes, and then Box Lunch decides to go off the rails with their Sorcerer Mickey release. Mm -hmm. I mean, well, and that's that. That's kind of a crap one too because it's a it's a limited. It, it's a a first release exclusive. You know, so that meaning every other store is going to have them later. So it's not right, even truly exactly. a box lunch. I mean, yes, it is a sticker that won't be on the later ones because you know Hot Topics done them with. Uh, they did it with all the Riverdale pops, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. uh, they did it with the Orphan Black pops, and uh, you don't see it very often. And uh, it, it's kind of like getting an exclusive, but not because. But the thing is, is usually the ones when they do that, you don't see them widely widely released at the other stores because. Nobody wants to sell them anymore because everybody bought them already at the first. Right, store. exactly. Yeah, the rush went out. So, but you'll see that source. You'll see that source for Mickey at lots of places. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's going to be a big issue. I wasn't getting up for it, so and it was still there in the morning anyhow, and I passed on it. Yeah, but but sticker junkies, aka me, you know that's that's a big one because, like, I guess it's what it what it, it's first to market because it's it was released at Box Lunch, but you know it. Listen, with what. It's been going on, and what what I've been observing, which happens to be something of a trend now, is that Mark, you've alluded to it in the pet Funko is flooding the market with so much nonsense, with so much, and they're making stores do street dates, and they're making stores do pre-releases, and they're making, and then stores are getting overwhelmed, and stores aren't getting proper shipments, and Funko's messing up with their special boxes, and now everything's coming with a. A pop and a tea. They're doing a goddamn diehard one at Target in a couple <laughs> weeks. Like, yeah. And I, I'm crazy. really, really, really interested to is. see yeah, I don't know. What, what it is because that, that pop hasn't been shown yet. No, I hope it's a Hans Gruber. Is there, one, is there, one, is there one of the cop yet? Oh, no. Shoot, what was it? Carl Winslow? Yeah, yeah. I forget what his name was in um, the movie. The but yeah, I don't, think, I don't think there's one of him yet. I would say that that's what it has to be then. Well, hopefully it's 
whatever Nagasaki Tower, whatever the hell it's called. I forgot. It's really, <laughs> that was it. It's been a while since I've seen guys. Christmas movie or not so much. Oh, like it's Die definitely Hard? a Christmas movie. It's a Christmas movie. I'm claiming that as a Christmas movie. Oh yeah, you got Argyle in the limo. I mean, come <laughs> on, you, you can't go wrong. <laughs> hey, it, 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 it's got Christmas and Hollis by Run DMC on the soundtrack. So that's true. That is. <laughs> Touche, touche. Um, what else was he gonna? All right, so, uh, Mark, you, you, so staying on the topic of all these crazy releases, some of them popping up out of nowhere. You, you, you made mention of it before. You got it for a buddy of yours, but Flock Beerus, the bald cat that now has fur, was mm -hmm. dropped out of nowhere. And hey, guess what? Funimation crashed over and over and over and over again. Haven't you learned your lesson from pre Metallic Wiss? With other issues that you've had, up your damn bandwidth. Let your servers be able to handle the incoming traffic. But with that being said, um, were you guys able to a score one? Um, I know we know we know Mark did, but B, is it something that you think because it is a flock and it is an exclusive to Funimation like the Wish and like other pops in the past? Do you think it's going to hold some significant value because of what it is? Oh, it, it will. I think it's, so. Yeah, definitely. it's not going to be as high as Wiss because no. the the difficulty of getting Wiss was part of what drove it up. Because the fact that there were so many times that it went and people didn't get it, that it started because all of the flocked all the flocked beerses are going to go on eBay the same day. You know. Oh yeah. Well, or as it goes, you know, and uh, so. It's not going to be that they're leaking out and driving up the value, so it's it's not going to be worth as much, you know. It, it's those weird exclusives. But speaking of weird exclusives that resurfaced, you see, Golden Osiris went live again last night from. Uh, I know. Destiny. I saw that this morning. I'm like, oh my gosh! And then it was gone, of course. But I it, mean, that one. It, that it was still decent. there. It was there when I posted it in our chat. Um, I almost bought it, but then I'm like, I, I don't want to start collecting Destiny pops. No, because like then you like, but I don't that with the whole the whole display and everything. Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. All right, so just because we just because I got I got I got curious, uh, Flocked Beerus hasn't even broke ninety bucks on eBay. Everybody's got it for seventy and eighty bucks. So we look. We're thinking it's going to sit at. It looks like it looks like we um. It looks like it looks like we have our value of what flock beers will be. <laughs> mm -hmm. At least for now, I mean, it, it could start going up. You know, there was, I, I think there was ten thousand of them, so it's less than a Funko Shop release. You know, I mean, I look at like, like let's see, an eight thousand Ace the Bat Hound is an eight thousand. That sits around between like eighty and hundred bucks. So yeah, that, that okay. seems like a, that seems like a fair price for it. You know, um, there, there there's so many Dragon Ball Z pops though. I just can't believe that all these exclusives keep being worth as much as they do, because just, there's just so many of them. They just announced another one that's being released. Um, I, I somebody. Oh, did did, did 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 ten minutes go by? <laughs> somebody's getting uh, <laughs> another, not a Goku, uh, not not a Vegeta, a Vegito. I think it is. Has anybody? Oh. Yeah, uh, hot topic. Yes, there you yeah, go. The there blue you go. hair and all that good stuff. Yep, yep. So that's kind of interesting, I guess. Um, but you know, I mean, listen, the more Dragon Ball, the more ball pops that come out, the more Mark can break our balls. Pun intended. Uh, <laughs> I, I I knew I had somebody that really wanted one, so I did the refresh. And in fact, I, I gave up for a little while. I like left the page i'm like screw this this is dumb stupid funimation you know you guys can just <laughs> screw yourselves i don't want this pop i have a friend that wants it but you know what i'm not gonna sit here for an hour and hit refresh and then i saw someone else get one and then i was like and then as i was about leaving i was mad too because then i saw at that time that you could check out as a guest because i kept trying to hit the sign in as facebook you know because that's the easy quick i don't want to mm -hmm. create an account just sign right. in as facebook and uh, I'm like, oh damn it! There was a, a sign in as guest. Oh well, good. Thing. I'm I'm done. I'm done. And then somebody else got it. So I was like, all right, pull it back up again. Refresh, 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 refresh. And then it went pretty fast. Well, yeah. And then then eventually it, it disappeared. It sold out, and that that's the end of that. I'm actually looking forward to getting it because I really want to see. Um, I never opened my flock beast, um, because obviously it has significant value and it's not something that I really want to touch. Like right. I wouldn't open a flock gizmo, but this I want to see. I want to see what the flock is all about. 
So yeah, yeah well, you didn't, you, 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 look good. I don't know. I grabbed two, so we'll see. You didn't you didn't want to open your flocked Frazier? <laughs> <laughs> no, I wanted to leave Kelsey Grammer alone. <laughs> In the box. Didn't want Niles to lecture you about opening them up. <laughs> no, <Now>, you know <laughs> the, the dad was going to come home drunk. Um, you know, I got to give credit where credit I, I'm. X Men is like my main main thing. Um, I actually really liked them as Beast. I, I think it was quite fitting because of how the intelligence of Beast character and Doctor Fraser Crane kind of played in hand in hand. You know, he's it, it worked. Yeah, the I like calmness. It. Yeah, yeah, he has that calm demeanor too. Yeah, I agree. I, 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 I need like to, I need to give the X the X Men movies a, a rewatch. I think I've seen them all once. I've re I've over the last year and a half I've probably picked them all up on Blu Ray now except for Apocalypse because I don't know if I can watch that one again. Oh my but, god, um, that was terrific! I I, I love that one. Oh my I mean, god, bringing Dark Phoenix and all that—the start of her. Yeah, definitely. I, I, I was excited for parts of it, and and maybe I need to watch that again too because, you know, a lot of these times I watch these movies at home, and if I'm not in the right mood to watch the movie, I can have very different, you know. Of, it, it was like I, I remember seeing like Robin Hood Men in Tights once, and I think I thought it was just the most terrible movie ever. Oh, and then I saw it, the, and then I saw it with the right people, <laughs> and I'm like, "Oh, this movie's <laughs> freaking hilarious!" Um, but now, it, this 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 week was crazy though because there was all kinds of weird exclusives popping up. You know, LeBron James at Foot Locker, and uh, that's like, wow. <laughs> I, I didn't buy. I didn't even try to buy one. But I went on the site. I mean, to see how bad it was. Uh, nah, mm -mm. We'll, we'll pay off that one right up. Yeah, King, King James can, you know. Yeah. But, uh, he... They're, they're going to make a whole bunch of them, you know. And he's, you know, it, it, I don't collect basketball pops, you know. Now, mm -hmm. now, I think the Timberwolves finally had a couple this year. And, uh, but, uh, I'm used to being able to have an excuse. Well, there's never any Minnesota Twins pops. The only uh, Minnesota Vikings pop is, is was Radian Pe Adrian Peterson. And during the pre-order stage of that one is when he got suspended for uh, whipping his kid with a stick. So I canceled oh, the pre-order right. on that one. And, uh, <laughs> and I haven't watched basketball in like 10 years. Cause... Well, I'm, I'm a diehard hockey fan, but I do not own one hockey pop. I don't – I it's enough for me with the nostalgia and, and the cartoons and the comics. Now I'm going to bring in sports. I mean, Jesus, I need to pay my mortgage. Come on. I can't do it anymore. I bought two. I got the Baker Mayfield one, and I got the Lindor one. So, I mean, that's all I'll buy, though. I had to. Well, I mean, I, I think I think at this point it's fair to say, listen, I mean, what was it? Funko made something like a profit margin, like they were above a billion dollars in sales last year. I mean, you know, in 2018. That's pretty damn dynamic, and that's pretty damn crazy like kudos to you funko i wish i was that was probably yeah, just from all the different wow. avengers pops <laughs> yeah no kidding exactly oh. i feel like i spent that much on them but um did anybody um happen to see or grab for that matter the uh the hush movie the hush uh jim lee pops not the new ones with the t-shirts with those oh the black and white ones yeah I, my, mine's gonna be here on monday i think you pre-ordered yeah because okay, cool. originally they're supposed to come out in January, and then I was looking at my bank. Yeah, that was a while ago. I was like, ago. I'm yeah. like, what did I buy at GameStop for 42 bucks? And so then I logged into my GameStop account because for whatever reason I'm a GameStop under a different email, so I always miss emails from them telling me things. And I was like, oh great, that's coming out. So I was kind of excited about that because I actually almost like the look of the black and white better than the uh the blue yeah it, i agree i agree i do like but, the black and white everybody but it ties into okay funimation <laughs> funimation oh, gave us the uh the unprecedented drop and now and now gamestop does it with the black and white hushes it's mm -hmm. why can't you just stick to your guns is this to beat the bots well what's going on I don't know. It just it boggles my mind. I mean, granted, of course, the companies maybe they want the profit, maybe they need the sales, whatever it is, whatever drives them to release early is beyond me. But it happens, and we have to deal with it. And as collectors, I mean, just look behind Mark and look behind David. You guys know that these are pure collectors. But what I I have I have a lot of pops. <laughs> no, that's that's just a big picture. Oh, this is a this is a green screen. I've got like four. <laughs> it's a jigsaw puzzle. Don't lie. <laughs> but now, did you guys get any cool pops this week? 
Um, the only cool thing that I just that I did wind up. And this, this, it's funny that you say that because I'm going to show this and then I want to talk about it. I want to talk about it because I actually hate it and I don't know why I got it. But I got what David got a while ago. Go it, Tor! Hey. Yeah. Oh, okay. you're making me want to go grab mine now. So, so Skeletor one gets... of us, one of us. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Skeletor gets released, yay, again on Gemini, sells out in under 13 seconds. What are they releasing? Four? Like, they have to be. I mean, I was on there right when it dropped. Just to, why not? Even though they cancel it, like, had it in my cart, PayPal, and it was gone. Like, literally, two seconds, it was gone. I don't they know, have man. to. I, I don't get it. I had to get it. I had to see what the hype was all about. I'm, I'm just, I'm disappointed in myself spending the money because they just threw some shiny paint on a pop that they've already put out. It was a pure common. Like Gemini, you want to get an exclusive grade? Let's not reproduce something that was already there. Give us something I exclusive. Agree. I agree. But yeah. that's that's not usually what Gemini does. Most of Gemini's exclusives are either metallics or flocks. You know, because they're they're. I, I think right. there's just uh some of the the shops, they don't give them a new mold. You know, mm -hmm. I think you maybe have to. Maybe it's you have to order more than what they're willing to order or what it is. But it seems like these smaller ones don't get their own molds, which you know it, it is sad, but. I don't know. I, I really, I really like this guy. I think he looks awesome. He does look really good. Oh no, he looks great. I just hate that I had, you know, I was. You're able to buy three thousand of them anywhere you go, even to today. You walk into any pop store, they have the 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 battle armor Skeletor. It's just, yes, it's cool. It looks good. It's like the metallic Pennywise. It looks great. It's a reproduced right. pop, but it looks great. It does look really good. Now, uh, I got one in the mail today. That I'm really not a lot of people jumped on this, but I was really, really happy about this one. Is the uh Dr. Harleen Quinzel from oh, in the animated right. series? Yep. Is that the pop in the box? Yep, the pop in the box one, which you know, you got to be sentimental to this because she didn't come from the comics, she came. Harley is from Batman the animated series, she yeah. was not created right, in the that's comics. True. That is and true. I mean, this is the really the OG version of her, you know, and uh. So I was really excited because that's one of my favorite lines. That's my, my Kevin Conroy autograph Batman pop is the Batman the Animated Series one. And because he does the voice and nobody does a better voice for Batman than him. So, uh, yeah, no, I, I I was really happy. You know, Pikachu came. Did you guys get a uh, Green Goblin this morning? No. no you know what? I did. I had it and then I... I, I I bought it and then I went and canceled it. Just I, I can't do the ten inches anymore or the Kid twelve head. inch, whatever. I, I can't. There's just I don't have much space and my kids take them and nah. Oh, I, I have no no room for them. I, I don't know where. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah that's true. And, uh, you know, uh, maybe the Overwatch ones will go somewhere else or I don't know. We're still trying to figure out how we're going to do all this. My Batman wall is ridiculous and now that stupid giant castle. Bat cave. Oh yeah, that's I right. What I'm gonna do with that. So the bat wall is moving, probably to another room because I have it across from me right now, and I have like six shelves. We're adding two more, so there'll be eight shelves for my Batman's, and that's not going to be enough Woo. already. Woo so <laughs> I know, right? Well, well, for know, me I mean, this week. Okay, so it's not. If you look at price guide and all that, it's not much, but I grew up watching. We're all the same age. The Black Hole. Vincent's on the way. Who does not remember the Black Hole? Like, I finally just pulled the trigger. Like I said, they're not worth much. I finally got Maximilian, and like I said, Vincent, I think, will be here tomorrow, but I, I don't know. I was happy to get these. So that was like my big one for the week. You know, I, I, I think I saw that when it first oh, was I loved it. when it first came out in the movie theaters, and I think I was... A little young, because you guys probably saw it in video, and uh, yeah, VHS days, all that good stuff. I, I I remember it just being really, I remember liking it, but I think it was a little slow for how old I was when it came out. I'm not sure. Alexa, what year did the Black Hole come out? The film The Black Hole was released about 39 years ago. Holy cow! Hey, I'm 39. All right, yeah. <laughs> 
So it came out when I was like five. Yeah, I was. It was a little, a little higher level than you know for five. So I think that uh, I, I and I, I don't know if I've ever gone back and rewatched it again. So actually, it was on not too long ago, and it just brought back all kinds of memories. Like I, I loved that movie. I never saw oh. it. Shoot me. Oh, no, without the sentimental value, I don't, think, I don't think it's held up enough that you're going to get a whole lot out of it. Yeah, but they, I mean, we all have fobs that don't, that the value-wise, it, it doesn't matter. They're, it does. It's priceless to, to me. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, no, it, it's an old live-action Disney movie. Someone in the chat was asking what it was. And yeah, it was an old live-action Disney movie, even though Disney's kind of washed their hands of it for mm -hmm. the most part. Yeah, you, don't, yeah. you don't see a whole lot about it anymore. Uh, I don't, I know nothing about it at all. So it is what it is. At the end of the day, um, David, you love it. It means something really. Exactly, good. that is I the mean, truth. I mean, guy, my, I mean, my slash pop ain't worth anything. But that was the first guy I ever looked at and said, "I want to be a guitar player." Because Guns N' Roses and Slash, I have his pop. I think it's worth nine dollars. But to me, I'll never. It, it's in a. I think it's in a hard stack. I can't tell right now, but. It's just it. it that's oh, the Guns N' Roses pops looked really good. Those are really good rocks. Oh, they came out phenomenal. I was really excited to hear in the last Periscope that uh, Hot Topic said they're going to be having quite a few new rocks ones coming out next year. So I'd like to keep seeing more of those pop out, you know, because those are really good. I don't, I don't need a whole lot of Mariah Carey pops and Britney Spears pops. Yeah, no thanks. I, I want you know a little more. Granted, yes, they are iconic musicians, you know, and they'll probably weather just as long as some of these other people do. But I don't know. I was super excited when they did the Injustice for All statue, though. Oh, Lady, Lady Justice. Justice. Yeah. It, oh, came out, it looked really good. It looked really I, I good. I still need to get yeah, that Yeah, that one. is really good. I have to get it, too. I was going to get it with Hot Cash, but we talked about that last week. Mm-hmm. That we you know, did. You know, you know what else looks really, really, really good? That Spirit Spider from Walgreens. Shut up. I don't even... I'm, I'm oh, so mad. here we go. Yep. Okay. Well, so... There is a big rumor going around that they're just releasing two different ones, but that's just because there wasn't a uh, glamour shot that said Chase on the box. So then everyone's what? like, oh, it's just going to be two. There's never, I can't think of a time that a single exclusive place has had two versions of the same pop with the same number, and one of them was not a Chase. And the glamour shot they're going off of, the box doesn't have the glow in the dark sticker on it either. So it's not the real glamour shot for it. So, uh, it's going to be a chase and it's going to be really expensive and it's going to ruin my life. Cause you know, our, our Walgreens doesn't sell very many pops. They sell probably like three of them every 40 years. And uh, so they don't get, we have three different Walgreens here in town, but it's, it's kind of a nightmare. And then when something does show up, someone posts it on the Mankato page and then people flock and then they're gone immediately. I remember when the Iron Man, the light up Iron Man, I still don't have one of those yet. Um, they posted it out there and like, Within a half hour, they were all gone. There was like yeah, six. Was my my buddy D'Antonio just chimed in in my Facebook message. He goes, "It looks like the, the spirit spider pop is dancing. It looks like a marionette puppet. If you look at it really closely, <laughs> it looks like if you had strings above it. Yeah, it's just like la 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 la." But now there, there, there's another Iron Man light up. So our our second lit up one is going to be OG Iron Man. OG Iron Man. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah, Which, they released some shots of it earlier this week. Yeah, because I got I, mine today, actually. The old one. Yeah, and you know what? I really like the OG because what lights up are what actually lights up on Iron Man. His eyes and his arc reactor. Oh, David, David, can you push the button and show the lights? I don't know if you can see them. Um, here, hold on. Oh, man. I don't know if you can really see it in there. No, it, it, it yeah, glares. It's, yeah. Hold it back a little. For there oh, there you go. There you go. There you go. All right, so the eyes glow. And the beam that's supposed to shoot out glows. I like what they're doing with the OG one. I like that it's OG Iron Man. I like that it's it, it, it's not as flashy of a pop, but they're still gonna make it light up. So I'm really I'm really really cool with with, with what they did, and I really can't wait for it to come out. Oh yeah, it's gonna be great. I mean, my wall behind me. I have two shelves. I mean, it's nothing like Mark's Batman shelves. But two shows of dedicated. I mean, Jesus Christ! Everybody calls me Iron Man, not because I'm an Iron Man, because Tony Stark had the heart issue, and I have the heart issue, so it was kind of fitting, you know. So it worked. So I fell in love with Iron Man after my heart attack, and he, I've adapted more to him. But 
not Iron Man like original, like the like the Robert Downey Jr. He just does such an amazing job at being Tony Stark and being Iron Man that it just, I just well, like, was, I, I really think it's because yeah, he, I agree. He threw his whole heart and soul into that role because mm-hmm. if you remember back when that happened, Robert Downey Jr. was a huge gamble. Um, as an actor, in fact, he uh, I think he did originally did Iron Man for nothing, and uh, it was all based on if it did well, then he get paid on the back end because uh, oh, interesting, he Very had all kinds of drug problems, yeah, drugs in jail, he, and this and that. Yeah, he, he yeah. just was a, a nightmare to work with, but he really, really, really wanted that to get done, and uh, so he uh, made a deal with them, and now he makes lots of money being Iron Man, so it was a it was a good gamble for them. Yes, indeed, indeed. But it was a good, and, mm-hmm. and, and for him as well, because it turned his whole career around. So now, yeah. uh, Regal Theater strikes again. So uh, here, uh, here's a PSA. Oh, okay? Jesus, here we uh, go. If you guys remember when they had the Regal Theaters on Mass uh, Flash, everybody was paying 50, 60 bucks for him. And I think he's worth 15 now. Yeah, that's about right. Yeah, maybe fourteen. Yeah, fifteen somewhere around there. Don't buy it right away. I, mm-hmm. I know, mm-hmm. I know, it's hard because you want it really bad right away. <laughs> uh oh. 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 Yeah, yeah, I know. I got a. Cold. I got a cold. Oh no. Um, but uh. The man cold. That, that, it, it's it's a weighted out thing. You know. <laughs> I mean, unless unless Iron Man. I mean, unless uh, Aquaman is just like. Way fire, you know. I don't know. I don't. I, I think it'll just be okay. To be my honest. my target still has like thirty boxes from the Aquaman thing they did. Yeah, I'm not trying to get all of them for that set because I, I finally quit trying to get all the Justice League ones. Because you know, I'll, I'll, I'll give I'll give a little bit of credit to DC on this one. I usually don't, but I like that they made Aquaman less, for lack of a better term, and I hope I don't offend anybody, but less pansy. Like he's not like the Aquaman from the comic book. I mean, Jason Momoa is jacked. No matter, I don't care who you are. No homo. He is ripped to shreds. <laughs> he's a big dude. He's Samoan. Like he will mm, shit up. You know what I mean? Like no, you don't mess with Jason Momoa. So the, I like who they casted. I like what they did. I like that they made it different from you know the Aquaman of the comic books and the cartoon series. The little you know. I mean, come on. The guy looks like a male mermaid. It was a merman. Stop! <laughs> so I like what they did. It worked. I just, unfortunately... Well, at least, at least Marvel isn't making a Submariner movie. Oh, gotcha. There we go. <laughs> Mark, you just jinxed it. You did, that's it. Oh, like, yeah, now we're going to get it. That's now it. We're now gonna we're going to get a Submariner, and now, you know... He's going to be an Infinity War, fire. and yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's... The, he's going to end up being the one that kills Thanos. At least the Flash yep. is cool. At least the Flash is cool. Aquaman is not so cool. So, yeah, yeah, but that new trailer looks really good, and Black Manta looks awesome. Which is what I'm trying to say. They did. They DCU finally may have hit the jackpot with the wrong character. That's what I'm trying to say. Well, you know, Wonder Woman was a great movie, and everybody liked that one a lot. And uh, Batman versus Superman. You know, I, I I have my I've made my peace with it. I I actually do like the movie. I like it. But, I like um, it. I understand the problems it has. You know, I, I'm not apologizing for it like the same way I felt like I was for the Phantom Menace, but um, and Justice League I didn't have a whole lot of problems with. I but I did think Steppenwolf was dumb. I I thought he looked like a big CG nightmare. Yeah, I, and, uh, yeah, just cheesy. But uh, I, I'm hoping they start to turn around a little bit. I'm really looking forward to the Flashpoint movie, if it ever gets made. And uh, Sh- Shazam looks amazing. Really? It does. It has that comedy kind of weird humor to it. Like, Anthony, I, I have, you, have you have you not really watched good. have you not watched the trailer for it yet? Because otherwise, um, I'm going to say that you're dead inside. Uh, okay, <laughs> okay. I'll get. Listen, once we go off the air, that's the first thing I'm doing. You, you too, like, Shazam. I will, I will, I will look into the Shazam. Shazam. Oh yeah, because it, it looks. It's it going to be one of those it, quirky it, ones, but it's I got, think the, really it's got good. the little kid from from it. Right? It's isn't it the same think, one, of the, one of the kids from It? Oh, this, the kid from Stranger Things? This kid? No, not that one. The one that was on uh, Me, Myself, and I. Also, the TV series that got canceled oh, okay. last year. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. His and, name, uh, I... Yeah, and then you know he turns into um, Zach. Uh, 
what's his last name? The guy that played. Uh, yeah, I don't really know of him too much until uh, Chuck. The guy on the show, Chuck. Hold on. I'm gonna... David's looking him up. David's like, let me use the Google machine. That's exactly what I'm doing. Oh, wait, it's here a, we go. Cass. Zach, it's not Zachary Quinto. Zachary Levy or Levi? Yeah, Zachary Levi, Levi, yeah. He's he's really good. He he uh he actually runs his own like like nerd like HQ type thing that uh does a lot of like new stuff and cool stuff. But uh he he's gonna do a great job. I, I think that's gonna be a great movie. I, I'm glad that it's not getting all messed up with having like uh the rock being black, you know, uh, Adam and stuff in it, you know, I think they're going to do a good origin story with it. You know, it's, it's, it has greatest American hero written all over it. You know, that is true. That it, is, it does. This kid it really does. Tur- gets the suit, turns into Shazam and he, you know, says so Shazam turns into Captain Marvel. I, I'm guessing, are they going to call him Captain Marvel in the movie? I, I don't know. I mean, probably just the Shazam. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, doesn't know how to use his powers, experimenting with stuff, you know. So, I mean, it, it's a whole lot like Greatest American Hero to me. And that was a great show. Um, yeah, and then a lot of the other, like, smaller shops and stuff had big Black Friday sales today. Mm-hmm. I know for, like, three seconds, everybody got super excited about Fugitive Toys ad and all the stuff they're going to sell. Yeah, I, I until, got you saw that, <laughs> until you started looking at the little parentheses after it. Oh, but, like, only eight of these are available online. And I don't want any of them. Unless you want to spend like $1,600 on a Freddy Funko statue. Guys, I'm confused. Can we rewind for a second? Sure. Yeah. So, <laughs> this, this, this just, this is, okay, I never gave a crap about Shazam until 35 seconds ago when Mark said, <laughs> will they call him Captain Marvel? Wow. Uh, Captain Marvel, often known today as Shazam is a fictional comic book superhero appearing in publications by the American publisher DC Comics. Why are you Captain Marvel in the DC universe? DC, right, exactly. Because it was Shazam's old, that's, it's an old comic. And I think that there was an actual like lawsuit or whatever and Marvel won. And that's why Marvel still has Captain Marvel and, they can't call any of the Shazam stuff Captain Marvel. So I'm guessing that they won't call him Captain Marvel. But I want to say maybe even maybe even as far back as the old live-action TV series, he might have still been Captain Marvel, even though the show was called Shazam. But I can't remember for sure. Because that show is really old, and I've only seen bits and pieces of it. And I don't even know if you can buy old episodes of it. I think it's that bad. That just That, just, that really just... Wow. Yeah, I mean, listen, <laughs> I, un- I understand the comic rivalry. I understand the two realms. And, and you know, one is just a mimic of the other with alternate names. I get it. I get, I get it entirely. Right. Um, I'm fine with it. You know, Slade Wilson, Wade Wilson. You know, case closed. Case closed. Deathstroke, Deadpool. Case closed. I get it. But this is a, this really, get, this is completely, like, on a whole nother level now. Because, oh, anyway, moving on. Um, yeah, so really, 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 there's two Captain Marvel movies coming out next year. What, that is true. There is. In reality, in theory, I'll take you're, the blind. You're one thousand. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm not a fan. I'm not. I'm not that big of a fan of who they cast to play Captain Marvel in the Marvel movie. I don't well, really she could. She, she could. She barely could get out of her room. <laughs> 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 in any case, she she played uh, the main character in the movie Room, um, which was a good movie. But uh, yeah, I, I think she'll be fine. I, I have that good faith in her. I, I just think her personality is the, isn't what should have been utilized. They could have cast a whole lot of that. Either way, I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be a cool movie. I like how the end of Infinity Wars really leads up to what she's going to mean moving forward in future films and that storyline it's going to be the start of the next wave of uh of marvel oh yeah that just opens the door and you know i I think that almost all of the main guys are going to be out by the end of infinity war whether they either a kill them or they have them go off and do other stuff i think you're going to start seeing especially since i don't even know if they've started started uh production again on uh guardians 3 i know that's been i i know that the guy that played uh david batista it was like, screw you guys, I'm not going to be in it. If yeah, you're... after they did that with the director, yeah. He's yeah. not doing it anymore. 
Now, uh, wait, Drax is not going to be part of 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 GOTG three after what? Was, who is it? Gunn got fired. They they said yeah, James no. Gunn said no. I'm not doing it. Wow. Wow. Because yeah, he got fired because he tried to do some shocking stuff to get his name out there when he was first starting as a director, and uh, it's nothing that had happened anytime and any you know recently and stuff like that. And apparently, uh, that was it was in the middle of when everybody was getting fired immediately for everything. You right. know, it's, it's when it's when Chris Hardwick got you know pulled and all that other stuff, and some of the people were able to redeem themselves and come back. You know, and. Uh, James Gunn didn't really get a chance, but now he's going to be directing. Uh, which DC is he? Oh, he's doing the new Suicide Squad. So that means oh, so that's we, right. We are going to get a good Suicide Squad. We're going to get a good DCU production. I can't wait. I know. <laughs> wow, well, Wonder Woman is good. And I'm hoping you know because we watch T- Wonder Woman. I don't know. T- Tiki Wahidi is doing uh, Aquaman, and he's the one that did uh, Thor Ragnarok. He did. Uh, what we do in the shadows. I don't know if you've ever seen that one. Heard of it. What we do in the shadows is basically a fake documentary. It's kind of like a, uh, like a Blair Witch real, project. It's like a real world, but in a house full of vampires. Oh, Oh, it's, interesting. It, it, it's a dark comedy. <laughs> it, it's got a uh, Jermaine from a uh, flight of the Concords is in it. Oh, get out and, of here. Uh, oh yeah. And like then there's like this old like Nosferatu like vampire down the basement who doesn't even talk in- speak English anymore. And oh, like, that's pretty- awesome! Oh, it's, yeah, it's, it's and uh, Tiki Wahidi's actually in the movie. He plays the main uh, vampire in it too. So because uh, he was Korg in uh, Ragnarok, also. Right, right, cool. Uh, something I'll, I'm definitely gonna have to look into that. What is it? Oh. Where? What What is it called, Mark? Um, what we do in the shadows. Thank you. Yeah, no, you'll you'll enjoy that one. It's a good movie. What we, do, what we do in the shadows kind of makes me feel like what was Fugitive Toys thinking about releasing stuff? And, well, guess what? If you don't live on the West Coast, you're not getting a $50 metallic whisk. Guys, what's up with that? Teasing <laughs> us with the big online advertisement, three pages of imagery and prices, and right. screw you guys, I'm going home. Like, what's up okay. with that? Well, you I mean, know... You can get the Ultra Zord for twenty four ninety nine If you were there. Right. You can get... You can get the big, uh, big giant Freddy for thirteen hundred dollars, and you can do that online. Yeah, crazy, ridiculous. Well, you know, I understand that they couldn't do that online, but to make as big of a deal online about it as they did, because they're in San Francisco, you know, and that's you know really limits the amount of people that are actually going to be able to go there and stuff. True, and you know, you know, you, you can't really fault them, you know, because they they can't sell them that cheap, you know, online for that. You know, they they want to get people in the store just like just like Best Buy. They were, they had a a forty three inch H- HDR four K Toshiba today for like one hundred and forty bucks. Okay, you couldn't buy that online. You had to go and stand in line at Best Buy right, for four course, hours to get it. Course. You know, and it, it's the same thing there. You know, but it really was one of those hot minutes where everybody was super excited. <gasps> Metallic Wiss fifty bucks. Ah! You know, and then uh. And then everyone realized that no, that's not the case. Right. And, uh, so, but then that then you see like the ads that you know like Chrono Toys and stuff put out and stuff, which were less spectacular because they didn't advertise all their in store stuff, which was kind of smart. You know that maybe they do that on a local page or maybe on their like their regular Facebook, but to like blast it out, you know. But then again, Fugitive Toys only put it on their Twitter. It, it's everybody else picked it up and started blasting it everywhere, which is what got it going, you know. So I, I guess I, I guess we can't really fault them for having the sale the way they did because they have to advertise for it, you know. I mean, why would they not put it on their their Twitter account, you know? But it's just we've all been watching it because they've had exclusives and stuff lately, so they're on everybody's radar now. And so, but I think everybody got over it. Well, I yeah, what's you know, yeah, my big thing was the Chronos Toys Mystery High Roller Black Friday box. I'm waiting for that. It shipped. That was my big one for Black Friday. Yeah, it's gonna be just you're gonna get a yeah, comment. Get, yeah, I'm just gonna get you're gonna get like a hot topic porg, probably because what it's at least it's at least a store exclusive, right? That's the minimum, yeah, that can be 50 bucks. So, yeah, I think so. Because what it was 30 was that one 35 or is that 50? That one was the fifty dollars. No, 
No, it was 35. It I was think. 35. It was 30. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting the pork. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> that, well, that and, then who, and then who, Toy Tokyo, was it Toy Tokyo that had the head icons box? No, no, no. It was um, uh, Big Apple. Big Apple. Big I Apple. got one, too. Just, I mean, yeah, you but see come those on. metallics in there. I know I'm going to get, like, a ripped well, up. You know, I don't, ha I, don't have the, I don't have the regular Twinkie. So I was tempted to pay $35 for one, but then I figured I'd probably get the big boy, and I have that, so. Oh, do you but, big boy? Uh, no. Oh, okay. I was going to say. You wouldn't no. Want out of a uh, seven, like, there was a total of almost, I, I want to say there was close to 1,000 boxes, and like seven or 800 of them were made up of big boys and standard Twinkie. Mm hmm So, I mean, that's what most people are going to get. And, uh... You know, I, I, I avoided it, but I did order a high roller one. Uh, it was only fifty bucks, not that drastic of a difference. Mm -hmm. I wanted because there was a couple of nice pops available in there too. So less, like you know, the 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 Ed Icon box. You had three hundred Twinkies, four hundred something else. They really threw a lot of commons in there, which steered me away from it. But the few lucky people that will get the valuable pops, hey man, I'll tip my cap to you. Oh yeah, um, totally. No, oh, yeah, definitely. So, it won't be me. I never. Oh, no. all, all the TVs were 135 at Best Buy. Oh, even better. Yeah, DJ and his oh, brother each got one. It, so, so. Mm -hmm. yeah, I well, 43 is too small because you know I still haven't yeah, bought a, I, I, still, I still haven't bought a 4K yet, even though I've got a Pro. <gasps> I got a yes, Pro. Yes. I know. Well, but then I look at it; they keep getting cheaper, and I really want to get an OLED. Mm. So I was waiting for the OLED ones to get cheaper. Okay. And that means this TV that's right here is a 60. And this will go up in the living room upstairs, which you sit really close to. And it's going to be really big. But I, I can't get – I need to get at least another – I can't buy a 4K TV. That's, it's got to be 60 or smaller because it needs to retain this size. Fair enough, and, yeah. Uh, because if I get a smaller one, I'm gonna have to buy another one, and then I'm gonna have another <laughs> big. I'm gonna have right. just. I'm gonna have, a, I'm gonna have a 60 inch TV in my bathroom, and I just don't want that, you know. Because <laughs> you can't sell these things, you know. Because you, you, oh well, uh, I could probably sell a 60 inch older, you know, 4K 1080p TV for like 200 bucks. But if I saw one for 200 bucks, I'd want to buy it. So I, you know, just in my conscience, I can't do it, you know. So <laughs> understandable. But now, uh, it's it definitely now with the third week announced. The original leaked list for Target for our, their Funko Fridays is a big pile of garbage. Yeah. You know, because they had every week detailed and none of the pops that have come out were even on the list. So we may not be getting an ad icon, new, new uh, bullseye, and we might not be getting that Coca Cola bear. Yeah, I don't know. I could see the bullseye before any of them, but. I, I no, don't know. People, people have said they, that they, they found the Coca Cola bear in their target system, but I've seen things show up that they say is in the target system that were never that never happened either. So, you know. You want to know my honest opinion? And I, this is just purely opinion, it's not a fact. I think Funko Shop is going to take over that Coca Cola polar bear. One of their, That's what one I'm of thinking. Their releases. Slap one of that. Mm, put one of them stickers on there. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 On in two minutes. Because yeah, because I think they see the uh, the issue with Target and the gold mine again that it would be for them. Well, I'm happy because now two of the uh, Funko the Twelve Days of Christmas ones are now made it known just through leaked, leaked, leaked pictures, you know. So we got a buddy the elf holding a raccoon. Right. Don't care. No, thank you. And the Honey Nut Cheerios B must have. Must have. Yes. And at least with the 12 Days of Christmas in the past, I want to say that maybe six of them are standard pops. Because, I mean, we, we've got, there's, there's always weird stuff, you know, mm -hmm. that's thrown in there, you know. And uh, so I'm really, really hoping that uh, now it's not going to be something that I'm going to be buying something like 11 out of the 12 days. Right. Well, as as quiet as I am for this topic, it's 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 uh, it's not something that I I don't know. I guess I'm gonna wait until the day of or whatever it is to see what's coming out before I make a final decision on any purchases that have to do with Funko Shop moving forward. Because how much of it do I really collect? My ad icons are all over the place. That I'm actually thinking about. I'm probably gonna get rid of what I have for them at some point because 
I'll never get the OGs, the mm-hmm. metallics especially. And I'm OCD and I have a big issue. If I like with my sticker discussion, I have to have every pop to complete the line. If I can't, it's not worth it to me. And I can't I agree. afford to try to dive into the, the ad icons any deeper. I'll get what I need to to maybe try to put together a nice little set and get rid of it later on down the line. But until then, until it's actually officially released, I'm glad it's kind of been quiet. I'm glad that that we only know so much about what's going to happen. Um, I, I, I miss the element of surprise. I, I don't really like what they've done with the emails. So I do and I don't. A, I, I, I like it because it happens when I'm at work and it's easier for me then to set the time aside, especially it's, it's actually nicer for the times that I know I don't have to. Right. That's true. Yeah. No, especially, I like especially when a lot of weeks they do three, when it was just once a week, I liked it being a surprise, you know, but uh, when it can be three times a week, it, it gets to be too much sometimes. Yeah, so it was good that they were quiet on this front, on, on their releases with a rock candy or, you know, whatever else they, they dropped this week. That After the big Mickey situation, they, they they made it a little bit easier on all our pockets, I guess. Yeah, they did, for sure, because I, I didn't even have to get on for that one. I don't think anybody did. I think they're still available. <laughs> they probably are. They will be for a long time. <laughs> Has there ever been a rock candy that's sold out? <laughs> Uh, the only one I bought is Maleficent. That's the only one I've ever gotten. That one might have sold I actually, out. I, I had to get the Mrs. and Elvira one. So, and I have, I actually have, I have a Harley Quinn one, the black and white one. Oh yeah, oh, with the hammer. Yeah. That was a Walmart exclusive one. We have that one over there. I think we the only ones we have because we got that, and then we have the red version with the hammer too, because it looks kind of like those new. Um, anniversary harleys that we that amy has up there the ones that are still oh, in the boxes yeah, okay. i see them and uh then she's gotten all the ones there's been five different uh bombshell ones so she's yeah. gotten all those and any of the, the the there's been variants on two of them there's been like a sepia hot girl i think and a black and white wonder woman one but uh those are the only rock candies we have and then those are some of the only dorbs we have i think we just have other than weird dorbs that we've picked up from different things. I think John Page sent me, uh, I think I have a Tinkles uh, <laughs> from R- Rick and Morty. I have a Tinkles uh, dorb that he sent me for my birthday. And uh, I've got most of the Batman dorbs now. And then we have the, uh, we have all the, the bombshell ones, except the chases. We don't have the chases because I don't care. Yeah, yeah. And I've, I've convinced Amy not to care. If they were the Batman ones, I'd have to get them, but I, I've convinced her that she doesn't need to have the chases for the, the, the bombshell ones. <laughs> well, ge- gentlemen, speak, speaking of, of, of convincing, if we're, we're, we'll get into a, more of what this show was going to be based around now. Um, if you could convince Funko to make a line that you feel they're seriously missing, what would it be, guys? What would it be? Um, what do you guys feel? We'll start, you know, Mark, we'll start with you, man. What do you want to see what's missing what's a Funko line that's missing from their production what do you want to see what's out there that's not out there all right let's all get our lists out because i got these guys that they need to have to make lists here because we're going to take this pot seriously boys well (coughs) what my number one what, 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 what we'll do is we'll just keep rotating back and forth until we run out and stuff like that you know um i would love to see robotech um, they're okay. Is they could do six inches of a lot of the Veritech fighters and the Zentradi ships and all that other stuff. Plus, there's tons of characters. They're all very, very colorful, you know. And uh, there's three different, you know, even if they just go through the original series of the 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 the, the core, I think ninety episodes, because there was a uh, the Robotech Masters, uh, Macross, and Southern Cross. There's tons and tons and tons of pops they can make. Uh-huh. And there hasn't really been anybody making a whole lot of Robotech stuff lately that I'm aware of, at least. No, so I haven't it, seen it. It would, be, uh, it would be really great, you know, to uh, add those to my collection. I'd, I'd buy the crap out of those. That's for sure. All right, who's next? David, we'll go to you, David. All right, my number one, which I've said on the show before or whatnot, but making a line, my number one would be Legend. 
I loved that movie growing up. Tim Curry is like one of my most favorite actors. You could do a darkness of him in a six inch. You've got the humans, you've got the goblins, the dwarfs, everybody. I think Legend would be an amazing line, without a doubt. Don't hit me, but uh, I've never seen the movie. <gasps> Tom Cruise? No, I'm just kidding. I mean, it's a great movie. I mean, it's like a labyrinth. Like, I think it would make a great line. Oh, so is it, it can't be like, like fun and can't be kind of like labyrinth is. I mean, Anthony, you've seen it, right? Unfortunately, no, David, I'm sorry. I haven't. Oh my, am I that old? <laughs> <laughs> it hey, is, it's just like a I think we're both older than you. Like, and, it, it, and listen, great. And, 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 and not to take anything away from you. I'm really picky. I'm really into only like, honestly, I'm into very few random movies. I don't really like a lot of different genres. Um, at the end of the day, if it's really not vampire based, I don't give two craps about it. Fair aside enough, from, fair enough. Aside from the, however, there is a pop line from one of my favorite movies that I really think they should make. I think it would go over real well, and that's the Last Dragon. I really think. Can you imagine seeing a show enough pop or a Leroy Green or an Eddie Arcadian? Like this is a, a classic movie with a classic theme, a classic plot, and. They're just giving it, Mark. I'm assuming you've never seen it by the look on your face. The Last Dragon. The story, the Bruce Lee story. No, 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 no. The Last Dragon is Bruce Leroy Green. Is uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's from 1985. It's a New York City, like a Harlem, a kid that works in a pizzeria. He's training to be. A oh, master. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yes, I know what you're talking yes, about. You, yeah. Um, you I don't know, think I've seen it. The guy oh wears the God. white, the bad guy wears like the white top. Like, yeah, I know what you're talking about. No, That's Shogun, awesome. He he gets the glow when you got that glow. Yeah, like, in the end who is the master? Yo, no. <laughs> yes, totally. Mark, Mark, it's a Mark. If you like any type of martial art karate movies, it's mm -hmm. a must see. It's a classic, like, I'm going to get you, sucker. It's like, yes, I mean, yes. it's, it's one of those. Like. So it, it's got a guy walking around with uh, goldfish in the uh, platforms of his shoes? Because <laughs> then, I'm no, all but, over that. No, but the, the, the mobster guy does have piranhas in his fish tank. Okay. Yeah, The Last Dragon, that was a good one. That was a really good one. I might have to check that out. Yeah, it's worth watching, trust High me. High recommendation. Highly recommended. All right. For, for, for the fact that it's I mean, I don't even know how long it is. I think it's and it's an hour and 50 minutes. It's actually pretty long for an 80s movie. But it's really good. It's about, you know, it's a martial arts gang type movie. The Shogun of Harlem versus the, the pizza boy wannabe karate kid. You know, it's really, it's really cool. It's, a, it's well worth it. All right. I'll check that one out. But that's, that's my first big one. That's one that I would love to see, especially yeah. the Shogun pop. That's a good one. That's awesome. Okay, now uh, for my next one, I'm going to travel back to the early 90s um, to a time when MTV aired a show called Liquid Television. And uh, no, I'm not going to say Ian Flux, even though I just thought of that right now. But yeah, that's uh, a good one, actually. The Max. Okay, David, I don't mean to cut you off. Mark? You took one of the okay, so one of the last ones I was thinking of was the Image Comics line, and the Max should be mm -hmm. made. It's on my list. I look, 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 I don't know if you can see it, but Max is written. Yep, I see it. Okay, so kudos to you on that one. I think that Wait, was amazing. That, which one was that? Was it the guy with the shit on his like? He kind of was purple, and he was big, and he kind of had almost like a beak type thing and he was he was yeah kind of like, okay all right he was, he was kind of like a blob version of spawn yeah okay all right i remember what it is now but um it, it was it was a great animated series it was a great comic and it uh the, the imagery was great and i think they could do some really really cool pops out of that listen because i have no shame and i don't care did any guys I, i'm gonna ask a serious question it's gonna sound like a complete joke it's really not i don't care who judges me for it but did you ever, as a kid, have a crush on a comic book, a cartoon female character? No. Okay, I guess nobody did, huh? Well, Eon Flux was mine, so it's funny that you mentioned she that. She was a good one. I'm trying to think. I'm sure there was. First it was Chitara, and then it was Eon Flux. Psylocke. I always liked Psylocke. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. she was one for me. Okay, so did you I'm like trying to remember. One? Maybe a little bit of Storm from old X-Men comics. Okay. Okay. All right. So anyway, um, 
Well, so Mark, image, Ma um, Max, li now liquid metal TV version, or doesn't really matter because they're kind of similar. They, they, they look identical, basically. I mean, they, they did an excellent job adapting that from comic to a screen on that one. Yeah. I yeah. mean, it was, I mean, the, the imagery is, I mean, they either they got the same artist to do the drawing or they just flat out just copied it out of the comics. So uh -huh. you know, they did a really good job with that one. Uh, David, what do you got next? Up? All right. Next on my list is, now I know you've all seen this one. I mean, they'd all be around the same, but Police Academy. Oh, my goodness. You've got Mahoney. You've got, you can do the chase with him in the riot suit. I mean, you've got Montega. You've got High. You've got Hightower. You've got all those people. That they're Paris. hot. That they're hot. <laughs> <laughs> you've got all. You could do so much with Police Academy. I, I mean, would... you, you need to have one that makes noises, though, for, uh... for Bobcat. No, no, for the, no. For the, the... For the African American um, beat, um, the voice guy. Oh, um, yeah, Jones, Monsignor yeah. Larville Jones. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> Have you guys ever seen him do the Led Zeppelin song? No, no. Uh -uh. Oh my, he does. I think it's whole lot of love. He does it on like a BBC talk show, and he's literally doing the guitar, the the metal guitar, and the vocal. Yeah, it's crazy. It's so good. It's so. But um, David, just to kind of piggyback real quick. I would love a chase version of Captain Mauser when Mahoney pours the glue. Oh, in the yeah. And he's in the shower. And he's like, and he's yeah, stuck. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Just like all of them are, are funny as hell. Like, and he's, I think and he's singing. He's all happy. He's like, Captain Mauser. Oh, yowza, oh, yowza. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah, I know. Because then you could get all Bobcat Goldthwait, that, that little nerdy guy. Yeah, that uh, there's so many... Harris, Lieutenant Harris was like, oh, what was it like David David Spade, like a skateboard kid in one of the movies? Yeah, uh, he was. Him and then one other guy. Yeah, that they were at Citizens on Patrol. Yeah. <laughs> Tackleberry, High Tower, yeah. the blonde yeah. chick. Yeah, man. Good David. They are, David, that's awesome. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Now, my next one is one that I've mentioned on our show plenty of times. They really need to do a never ending storyline. Mm. A six-inch Falcor would be phenomenal. Yes, definitely. A and then, of course, they'll, they'll make a plush one, too. But, you know what? And that's fine. I'll buy it. Yeah. <laughs> I, they, they really, I mean, there's so many characters. The queen, the kid narrating the story. You know, Atreyu, um, the horse, the nothing. You know, every single last thing about, they could do two waves just off that one movie. Well, now, now yeah, that song by really. Lamal is stuck in my head. The Never Ending Story. <laughs> it's one of the guys. I think he was in. He was one of the guys from like uh, Kajagoogoo. He was in Kajagoogoo, and then he left Kajagoogoo. And we have uh, one of our one of our um, li listener viewers uh, chimed in. He said two things. Uh, a friend of mine, Antonio from Out West, he said Maximus from Gladiator. And a BC Boys three pack. I know you guys would be cool with that too. Oh yes, oh, definitely yeah. for it's, sure. Rest in peace, DJ. Uh, 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 the one that's gone, I forgot. Was it Ad Rock? MCA. Oh, MCA. MCA in the house. Yeah, definitely. Oh, I, I love Beastie Boys. That would be that would be epic, epic, epic. Yeah. And yeah, someone else also mentioned the Terminator movies. Oh my god. Oh yeah, oh, I'm surprised they god. never did that. I mean, you got the T-1000, you got Arnold. Yeah, oh, yeah, definitely. You got Sarah and John Connor. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah, I'm surprised that they haven't tapped into that because for the amount of times they released that DVD, I thought that they were about making every cent possible because I, I, I bet there's there's more versions of that DVD for Terminator 2 than there are states in the United States. <laughs> every eight <laughs> minutes from the time the DVDs were released, they made a new edition of Terminator 2. What, uh, yeah, that is true. The steel book. But, Mark, yeah. what's, Mark, what's your next one, Mark? My next one is one of the uh, seminal... I'm not a big anime fan, but now several of these have been rela related to either anime or animated series, but um, Akira. I, I, I need Kaneda on that red motorcycle as a, a pop ride. I mean, that that's just one of the most iconic old-school anime you know, scenes, and you know... Uh, there's so many good pops and when uh oh why can't I think of okay Kaneda's the main guy and I can't think of uh the guy that turns into the big monster. 
Why well, can't I think of his name right now? It's been a long time since I watched Akira. I lent my copy to somebody like three years ago, and I haven't got it back yet. <laughs> but there, there, that's just that's just one of the the seminal. That that's one of the especially back in the '90s and stuff like that. That's one of those animated movies, you know, from anime that really actually brought people in, and it was it's accessible and it kind of opened the doors to get people to start watching other things like you know, mm -hmm. Vampire Hunter D, Fist, of the North Star, and all that other oh, stuff. I love you know, and, North Star. You know, but, uh, you know, you know, you when you you said pop ride, and we we're talking about Terminator before. You know, it would be a sick pop to create for a movie moment in T two when Arnold's on the motorcycle and the T one thousands in the in the truck, and it's got the blown out window. That would be an amazing movie moment to create. That yeah. would but, be definitely. It'd be really big. It'd be uh, a very big movie. Oh moment. well, well, did you see the eleven? We need a big Morgan? one. Oh yeah, I guess the, the, some of those new Stranger Things ones are kind of big, but having two vehicles. Well, hey, listen, maybe they advance a little bit. I don't know. Maybe we just gave Funko an idea. <laughs> <laughs> you never the, know. The, the tabletop movie moment. <laughs> <laughs> it's a comment. It's a comment. Uh, David, All what right, do you got next? Your next one, guys. I know there's a custom of this, but I'm gonna go with along the lines of Police Academy, Spaceballs. Yep. Who does not want Spaceballs, Pops? I want a Lord Helmet. Really? I want a President Scrooge salute. Yeah, I mean, Lone yeah. Star in the Winnebago. How, how? You, really, you really could just dive into all of the Mel Brooks movies because yeah, we could have Saddles, Young Frankenstein. Um, Clue. Clue's not uh, Mel Brooks. Oh, sorry. Never mind. It's, I thought it was. It's all right. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, even if you did Young Frankenstein, Blazing Saddles, um, Spaceballs and like Robin Hood Men in Tights, you know. Yeah, definitely, all those. Wow. Yeah, no, those, those would be really good. Those are, those uh, would be great. I mean, how how they have? I can I understand maybe they couldn't get the licensure, which is understandable. But that that would be that would be quite quite a line to produce. Mm -hmm. Um, um, kind of sticking with you know those more eighties kind of movie. Um, a pop line. I personally. Would like to see uh, 1986 Short Circuit with Johnny Five. Mm -hmm. Johnny Five is alive. Short I Circuit. Mean, short That's circuit. a good one. That's a really good one. I mean, it'd be a good one off because I don't think there's any other pop other than him from that movie that would be worth making. Well, the, the Indian guy, he was funny. Yeah, the yeah. Indian guy was. was funny. And, and Mahoney. Mahoney's in it. Yeah. So, you know. Johnny Five would be wonderful. Johnny Five, or even if you just did a big six-inch Johnny Five for short circuit, that, that was it. I would buy it. Johnny would buy Five it. would be an awesome pop. Yes, it awesome. It kind of looks like the one David, the one that you got from the black hole. It kind of looks like what, like I think, like Vincent. Like they could base it off of Vincent. Style. Yeah, they could. Yeah, they could definitely. Yeah, that's a good one. I like that. I didn't even that, think of short circuit. I watched that, that how many times over and over again? Oh my god! Oh. Oh. If you had HBO when you're growing up, you wanted yeah, to watch that. Short, exactly. you, short circuit, you, you got to watch Short Circuit and Teen Witch on a daily basis. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Nothing um, better than the rap scene from Teen Teen Witch. If well, you don't remember what that is, but no, um, my next one I think would be actually a really fun one. And it all went back. I, I talked about this actually in uh, one of our chats. I don't think not when you were in Anthony, <coughs> but uh, ah, okay. So uh, <coughs> okay. Okay. yes, um, YouTube greats. So we get like Rebecca Black, Tay Zonde, the Numa Numa Kid, um, the Leave Britney Alone. I mean, all these I Star Wars Kid. You know, all these. YouTube legends that you know have gone and, and become mames and all this other stuff, you know, they've all had their like five minutes in fate, you know, in the spotlight. That it would be actually fun to immortalize some of them in his pops. I mean, have like a chocolate rain one and chocolate rain. That's a great song. I know. <laughs> what about what about pants on the ground guy? Yeah. That's actually Mark. That's actually you know get those viral YouTubers. That yeah. would be pretty cool. That's a good idea. Yeah, oh, I know. that's like opening it up to a new market. Because there's there's a ton of them, you know. I mean, you could have the the hide your kids, hide your wife. They've been raping everybody up in here. 
you know. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down. Oh man. But oh, no, I, I, I think that would be a fun line, you know, and it, it's something that they could really embellish and give some of those people, you know, a chance to be famous for another few minutes. Uh, well, for a long time after that. But yeah, that's a, that's an excellent I, yeah, I that like is a good idea one. of that. Mm-hmm. Um, David, you got you got another one for us? I do. Okay. They made the different line of things, but one of my all time favorite classic movies lines, Jaws. Quint was my hero when I was young. Like, you, you could know? do Brody, you could do Quint, you could do so much. Like, I want to see Jaws. Well, like, not I mean, even the shark, even if you do the players. Like, Quint. I just want Quint. Well, you 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 know, you would have to do the shark because if you did Sharknado, I mean, that's what Jaws is all about. True. Well, I mean, it'd be, they, it'd be a big, they, they, they can make a, the, a movie moment of him, th like, scooping the chum up and the Jaws coming up, you know? Oh, Brody, all of them. Yes, uh, Jaws is a must for me. Because that was that was one of the ones I was thinking about, but I didn't know if any of the individual characters would stand out enough to be individual pops. Because sometimes it's always some of the lines work really well, and some of them don't. And but I'm like, I'm surprised they haven't at least done a movie moment with Jaws. Agreed. Agreed. That's Agreed. a big one on my list. I yeah, because I, I have a few like that that I threw at the end of my list that we'll go over a little later of good one-offs that we that they could do, that uh, especially in the horror line. I, I so Mark going off kind of like, oh my goodness, pardon me, kind of like your YouTube viral people, the YouTubers, mm -hmm. um, kind of mixing it in with a one-off and and you know what I, I, you guys can laugh, I don't care. I would love to see progressive flow. <laughs> as an ad icon yeah i could totally that's a good see that. one yeah i could too she's, she's I mean, one of my favorites she's awesome i love watching the progressive commercials because of her so yeah they, they, they did the singapore girl you know for the the airlines they did target that lady a good one target lady one. isn't an ad icon though that's a saturday Night live character yeah but let's 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 mark let's everybody here. likes to put her in as an ad icon though i had to John Page sent me his picture of his wall of ad icons, and he had Target Lady in there, and I had to scold him. I'm like, that's not an ad icon. It's a Saturday Night Live. You, could, you may as well put Dick in the Box up oh, there, too. Oh, John. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's, that, that's just, you know. That's a good one. That is a very good one. Now, my next one is an obvious one. I, I've heard lots of people talk about it, but it, it's one I'm surprised hasn't happened because – Several other NBC shows in the same vein have been made, but I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna group these two together because it, it, it's it's two NBC sitcoms that lived on for close to a decade each, and neither of them have had them. And it's The Office and Seinfeld. How are there not pops for these two shows? Oh yeah, Kevin. I would buy Kevin right away. Well, yeah, yeah, especially if they did Friends. I mean, two seconds. I can hear you again. If yep. you if you if, if you've done Friends, Mark, if, you, if if you've done Friends, you should be able to do a lot more of these shows. Yeah, they did Parks and Rec, and I mean, maybe I'll throw in another one I have because it would be going the same long. If we're gonna be spurting off NBC sitcoms, you know, Cheers, you know. Oh my God! And, I, yeah. I, Norm, Sam, yeah, no, I I agree. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm just really surprised one. that they haven't done those yet. What do you got for us, David? All right. So, this one's different. So, I loved the Star Series Spartacus. Like, the blood, the guts, the gore. Like, I loved it. I don't know if you guys watched the series on Stars when it was out, but... I own it I on Blu-ray. Exactly. I think that would be a great line. I mean, it's... <laughs> it's a ridiculous show, but it, it, it is really good. <laughs> it, it was different. I, mean, I loved like, it, though. It's like, you know... You put a skulk. Like, yeah, is, I mean, is, like, is there any way that we can have more blood and more sex? Right. In every exactly. single episode. That well, is I, I think it did tame down a little bit as it went on. It wasn't as gratuitous as it was like in the first season and maybe the second. Or maybe it kept going yeah. and I just got to desensitized to it. But no, it, it, it was a really good show. And uh, it was really sad that uh, the guy that played uh, Spartacus died. Yeah, he passed away. But uh, the guy that they got to carry it on was really, really good, too. And yeah. the guy that played Crixus um, was great. You know, I was sad because we were going to go to that Minnesota Fan Fusion, and he was going to be there. So oh, I was going okay. I was, I was to have him sign uh, the Deathstroke pop um, from Arrow, since he plays Deathstroke on Arrow. But mm -hmm. uh, 
unfortunately, he canceled along with Jamie right. Lannister and all the good people that I wanted to see. I'll cancel. Right, of course. All, all right. right, what do you got now, so Anthony? So you know, you're you know they did they did all these NBC series. They do shows after shows. They just released I Love Lucy. One I would absolutely love. And I'm going to say, because we've seen a lot of black and white pops with Betty Boop, I Love Lucy, even Pennywise. Even, are you going to take, take it all the way to the moon? We're going to take, we're going to, right in the kisser, bang, <laughs> zoom, to the moon. I, I would love to see the Honeymooners. Yep, I, the, I, I, I totally I totally agree. That was one that I, I, I strongly considered. And I kind of left that one open, hoping that one of you guys would pick that one up, because I uh, that's one of the more iconic old you know, original TV series and stuff like that, that would have pops that are recognizable. I mean, you, you can't do like my three sons and, you know, leave it to Beaver as much because my they're not going to be. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> yeah, listen, a great two pack from honeymooners would be when it could court a Apple when they're in there, you know, doing their TV show to sell their product. There's so much about the honeymoon. I mean, it hits home. My immigrant grandparents who didn't speak a lick of English actually would watch that show and laugh. And they didn't understand a word of what they were saying, but just the visual that you got from what Ralph Cramden and Ed Norton produced, you didn't need to understand what they were saying. You still laughed. It was still fun. Well, you know, yeah, it, to, to piggyback on that, to just do an amendment to that one, too, is, you know, grouping in with the same stuff, you know, they could have Laurel and Hardy and they could have oh. the uh, Three Stooges and, you know, there, there's oh. so many of these oh. old... Oh, movies. the Stooges. Oh, yeah. man. Good one. Good one. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. We're, we're missing so much. We're yeah. missing so much. Well, but and then... Know, it won't tell oh, in right. today's world, though, so they you, won't do it. That's you know what this kind of makes... You know what this kind of makes me realize? If Funko can adapt and acquire the licensing for these, it's never going to die. Because eventually, you have to think, eventually, this is going to happen. It has to. I mean, a three-pack oh, with yeah. Larry, Curly, and Mo, I'd be all oh, over my that. God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Definitely. That's now, cool. Uh, Three Stooges. I didn't think about that. But now, now I'm going to jump to, for my next one, I'm going to group in a couple other sitcoms from another age that you know i think that would be really great that if they started doing would be like a happy days uh three's company um taxi taxi you know a, a welcome back of, cotter we can go on and on this list could go forever oh yeah oh yeah definitely i mean well you know what when, when i contemplated on but then i decided that they'd all most of them would look the same they could make a couple but a lot of them would end up looking too similar would be like mash where you mash could, is a good one. Yeah, I mean, there, there's, there's, a, you, you can make the base. You know, you could probably do like four or five, and just, you know, too many people in green army suits are gonna, you know, but, you know, you got a, uh, um, radar with his teddy bear, and then uh, what's Klinger? Klinger in his uh, girl suit. Yeah. Oh my. And, oh, uh, the and <laughs> hot lips, and uh, we got, like, we got, we got chimed in. Uh, it was one none of us mentioned yet. Um, I did mark just to. I love Three's Company. That's a great mm -hmm. one. Different strokes. Yeah. Oh yeah, different strokes. Yeah, Facts so of life. Uh, growing growing pains. pains. Family ties. You know. Oh my god. Old house. I mean, come on. Good we times. Even, we, we we could even do the Cosby Show, so we could all have our our molester, uh, Bill Cosby, pop. The barbecue sauce. I I. I, 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 I... <laughs> <laughs> Holding Anthony, a jello pudding. Anthony, do you want wearing one of his nice sweaters holding a jello pudding pop. <laughs> oh, I love uh, it. Um, How about okay, since we're speeding this up, okay. Um horror side, killer clowns from outer space. <gasps> now that would be a very, very good one. You know, we the clowns seem to sell really well. They and do. uh they need to make ones that aren't made pennywise, called pennywise. Because oh, yeah. They're starting to flood. That's, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's what I'm saying is that the entertainment Earth spoil everyone. Everyone's convinced that it's a Pennywise, and I'm gonna be. Pissed I'm pretty sure it. it is. It'll probably be a glow in the dark one. I mean, other than the egg, what other glow in the darks do they have of that line? Yeah, well, they said something about the only thing that makes me think it could be is because they mentioned pop, and that could be a balloon, which means it could be the one. It could be a variant of the hot topic one that was glowing. 
pies or something like that. And maybe blood splattered. But uh, I don't know. I'm still I holding mean, out that it's. A, I'm holding out that it's something. Y'all go and buy it. I mean, I've got the whole set. I've got yeah. Amy's wonderful custom, so I'm gonna buy it. All right. All right. What's your next one, Anthony? So I, I actually, I, I wanna, I wanna go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give my my last two, because it's right. my last, it's my last two, and I, I just one of them, Inspector Gadget. Oh yeah, that would be really good. Yes. Okay. Inspector Gadget and Penny and I can't remember what the. That's a good one. Do they ever show the evil guy, or is it only just his hand sitting in the chair? I'll get you next time, Gadget. And he always <laughs> drops his name. Like, yeah. But do they ever show his face? No, never. No. Okay, so mm -hmm. I don't really, think we've ever seen it. I don't think they can make a pop of him then. Well, Gargamel. Isn't that the? the isn't that? That's, that's from the Smurfs. Smurfs. Oh, that's the yeah. Smurfs. All right. What was the? What was the cat's name from Inspector Gadget? The dog? I can picture him, but I, I can. Oh, but he no, there was a cat too, wasn't there? Oh, oh let me Google it. <sighs> it's been a really long time since I've seen Inspector Gadget, and I didn't watch the Matthew Broderick remake of the movie. Oh, Doctor Claw is his nemesis. Who? What was Doctor yeah. Claw's little little pet that he would always, you know? And then whenever he would bang his hand on the desk, the cat would. Uh, there was a cat. Yeah, yeah there was. was a big fat cat, big fat furry Dr. like. Claw pet. Let's try that one. So we got, so we got Inspector Gadget. And I know that this has been discussed. I'm sure you guys have heard the discussions. It's it's something that I think needs to happen. They need, and I, and I can tell you right now. I know the common and the chaser. They need to make Mad Cat. cat. What was that? Mad Cat. Mad Cat. There you go. They need to make Dexter. Dexter Pops. That was on my list. Thank they you. They need. Yep. They they need to make Dexter from the series. They need to make a Dexter Pop. They need to make one of him as his. You know. His his alias in the police force, and they need to make one of him in his suit in the dead room. You know, like Dexter was an amazing. Mark, you never tell me you never saw Dexter. You've never watched Dexter? No, I, I've watched every episode. Oh, and, oh, and, okay, okay. And, and unfortunately, I saw the unfortunately I saw the final episode. But um, lumberjack Dexter, that could be another pop. <laughs> no, please no, please no. Dexter in his kill his would kill outfit great. would be really good. But yeah, I don't know if good. any other pop from that series would be. Well, He'd, that'd make a really good one-off. Just because, but, you know, Michael C. Hall <laughs> just dressed like, I mean, what's the difference between that and a Michael C. Hall pop from Six Feet Under? You know, it's just going to, you know, and Michael C. Hall would be, you know, there's nothing really that stands out about his appearance that they could do as a pop to even make it really like, oh my God, that's a Michael C. Hall, you know, pop, you know, for Dexter. But if he was in his kill outfit, it would look like a Dexter one. So I, I would agree that that would be a really good one-off pop, but I don't think that... Uh, I mean, you could do a movie moment, too, with him, somebody saran wrapped to the table, and, you know... Would they go that far, though? <sighs> they should. No, no, no. Would they Would they really be able to get by with creating that? Well, they do have Pennywise holding it. Georgie's hand. That's true. So they have had I'd severed limbs. Oh, yeah, no. It, it, it was It was a... It was a great show until the end. The last last maybe season or two, it really kind of suffered a little bit. But I really, really liked that show for a long time. You know, and along those banes, I have a couple, you know, it would be great. But there, there's so many of them that iconic shows that would be really hard to make pops for because so many of the people would kind of look the same. You could pull off probably like Sopranos because there's enough different yeah, people in there. Okay. You could, but, you know, they're not going to be amazing you know and i mean it's gonna be people in khakis be, and a polo i mean yeah and it'd be the same with deadwood you know it, it's kind of like what the, the suffering from uh all the uh westworld pops you know they're just kind of like ah. you know first season well, westworld was great there'd be only two what about sanford and son yeah you got red fox and you got lamar i mean i mean i mean that's the only two you could really make though but What's 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 Dino Mine? What's that from? <laughs> oh, that's um, good times. There you go. Good times. There you go. Oh, Fat Albert. Yeah, you could do that whole. Oh my too. goodness! Yes, yes, yes. yes. Mushmouth, Mushmouth, and yes, uh, all of them. And I got a song to sing for you. <laughs> yeah, you could do all that. More pops with Bill Cosby too. <laughs> <laughs> just on your own. I mean, we can just pump out ideas. Come on. Now, um, they did the Saturday Night Live pops, but mm -hmm. 
where is our in living color pops fire marshal bill um oh. what was it damon waynes and keenan ivy thompson they like wear those little tiny hats oh like, yeah uh, i can't remember names. what their names what talking about um but there, there was some iconic in living color characters that would be i mean homie the clown fire marshal um, oh yeah you've got that one already but yeah homie the clown there were so I, many i i, I want a j-lo pop <laughs> Your fly girl JLo pop thing. I want a fly girl JLo pop. But now, like you said, now now for the the horror movies, I'm I'm really getting sick of them making the same freaking pops over and over again with, oh Michael Myers, but this time with three drops of blood on him. Oh, well, right, exactly. You know where where they need to do some of these like one off ones. You know, we we could have like a critters. Um, <gasps> Chud. Wishmaster, yeah. John, cannibalistic humanoid underground dweller. That was a great movie. <laughs> I love leprechaun. Yes, oh. the leprechaun. I mean, they could make, I mean, there's been enough different movies that they could probably make, you know, four or five different leprechauns, you know. Um, there, There's just been a ton. I mean, The Thing. They yeah. could do some really that's cool ones one. off of the original The Thing, you know. And, uh, Ooh, that's a real good one. I love that. I'm trying to think. The blob. Pet Cemetery? The Blob. Pet Cemetery would. You could do Gage. You could do Gage. You could do. What's her name? Um, Zelda, the sister. Oh, yeah. You could do Zelda. That'd be a good one. The wife with her face cut off. We might see a little bit of it because. Uh, aren't they rebooting? Yeah, Pet they're Cemetery? redoing it. They're redoing it. I don't know, though. The original, though. I want to see a Wishmaster pop. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, I've seen that. I remember, I think I used to have, I think it was a DVD set so that had Wishmaster 1 and 2. And Wishmaster was okay, and Wishmaster 2 was really bad. Yeah, Wishmaster, no, no, yeah, but the first one I, I really enjoyed. I would love to see a pop of it. Arachnophobia? Oh, my goodness. Well, you know what? Cheesy enough as it is, The Craft. Yeah, yeah that would work, too. Um, that would work, too. There's so many. We have did this. This is the never-ending list. Oh yeah, I could go. I'm thinking back to my childhood. Everything I could just go back and back. Well, now I'm sitting, now 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 I'm like staring over there to see if I can see anything from this far away that would. Uh... Yeah, so this, this master. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! That was David. How many times did we watch that and put a rubber band and cloing, like with your ferrets and stuff? Like I mean, David, <laughs> David, David, that. I can't believe! Oh my God! Oh, oh my, I, I love that movie. I have you, watch, you know, you I have cried watch. when Poto cried when Poto died and sacrificed the. I mean, we all did. Come on, Beastmaster was all oh, oh amazing. That's amazing. Another one of those old HBO movies, you know, that we used to see all the time. I saw, you know, like with the Funko T-shirts. I saw that they're doing Bloodsport, which was hey! a, a great John Clyde Van Damme movie. But I don't know if it would adapt well for Pops. And Why maybe not? That's, Chun, Chun Li would be awesome. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, Tom Tom would be awesome. <laughs> yeah, Lee. definitely. Tom and you got the, you got Ogre from the Nerds. Well, shit, the Nerds. That's another one. Oh, yeah, the Nerds. Nerds. Booger, Booger, Booger Ogre, oh my... <laughs> Lewis. <laughs> wow. Oh yeah. I mean, you know, we think that they made pops for everything, but you know, there there are a lot of things that I'd forgotten they'd made pops of because I, I I basically I brought up stash when I was making my list and I typed stuff in and I'm like, did they do ET? Oh yeah, they did do ET. And they, there's a lot of them that you know have been retired now that you just don't see and you know you don't see them being resold a ton you know and stuff like that and you always get surprised because there's oh there really was one of that. And, uh, I'm, I'm I'm still disappointed that nobody can get the, the license rights for anything Adams Family based because I really think that an Adams Family line of pops would go over real well. Oh yeah, definitely. Oh yeah, Adams Family and the Monsters. You know, um, they could they could greatly expand Hellraiser. You know, they don't just have to have Pinhead. There was all kinds of crazy monsters oh, in that. You know? Yeah, they were. Totally they right. they could have the box. Oh yeah. I mean, aren't, oh, aren't, yeah, they, doing a, that the dome. aren't they doing a staircase mm -hmm. for Fortnite? If you're doing a staircase for Fortnite, you could do the box for... Hey, you could do Pandora's box. They're doing a staircase for Fortnite? I heard... I saw that they were doing a staircase for Fortnite. Really? Yeah, well, it was it was leaked. I don't know if it was a, if it was a Photoshop, but it was leaked. 
I don't even know how they, I mean, it would just be a slanted board. Because you don't really have, well, you kind of have stairs. It's more of a ramp in Fortnite. I, I bet that was just somebody messing around with people. Probably. That just doesn't, that doesn't seem like it would be anything that anybody would want to buy. Unless they made some kind of, like, contraption that you could display them all on. That oh. looked like a building that you could build in Fortnite. Oh. I can't imagine them doing just, like, a ramp. Well, it, would, it wouldn't be that damn show if it wasn't me messing something up with the Funko line. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Trademark. So it's back to me for 20 questions. Yes. And I I'd really had forgotten about Oh, it. shit. Here we go. But now... I, wait I, a I, second. Wait, wait a second. Mark, while you find your pop, David, you haven't introduced... I mean, we all introduced ourselves, but you're missing something from the introductions. Where's your class, dude? Oh, it's been going the whole time. I'm on my second one. Oh. <laughs> there it is. The Boilermaker himself. Oh, definitely. Yeah, I know. I'm on my second one. No worries. Kudo. Good for you. Good for you. Mm -hmm. All right. I've got one picked out. All right, David. Oh, he look. Yes, he looks for a thousand of them. I mean, <laughs> my word. Well, you know, it's over there. So you can rule out anything you can see behind me. <clears throat> okay. Is All it right. a superhero? Pondering oh. if it's a superhero? He's pondering. He's pondering. I'm going to say no. Okay. Is it from... The two thousands. Give me a second. Uh, we, we need to I, 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 I want to say it is, but let me check Wikipedia and find out when his first appearance was. His. Okay, so we got his, and we know it's not a superhero, but he did ponder for a little bit there. So pondering makes me wonder. No, he's old, much older. He's been around for a long time. Right, him. Yeah, I screwed up. I gave you a hint. Is he a comic book character? No. Okay. I don't believe. They've maybe made a comic of him, but he's not a comic book character. I'm not aware of a comic, but it wouldn't <clears throat> surprise me if they've done like a one-off or something. Hmm. Are there other versions of some type of action figures made of this character? I would say there probably have been. I can't imagine the pop is the only thing they've ever made of this character. But I, I, I can't think of any off the top of my head. If there is, there's not a lot. All right. Was he a cartoon? Yes. M cartoon. All right. Damn, there's so many, there's so many ways I want to go with this now. Um, yeah, and I don't even want to look at this dude's stash. He's got like ten thousand in his stash. I'm not even going to look at it. I'm just guessing <laughs> at this rate. So we got cartoon mail. Earlier than the two thousands. <clears throat> um would he be considered good or evil? Or vigilante, meeting in the middle, anti-hero. I'd say he's probably a uh, fine line between good and chaotic neutral. <laughs> All right, cartoon. Um, is he Disney? No.
good and chaotic neutral. I know. That's throwing me off, too. He's a cartoon. Did cartoon the car- male. Did the cartoon ever have a live-action movie based off of it? No. Oh, now you're putting the focus back on me. Thanks. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um... So it's purely a cartoon character, David. Yeah. Well, he's not looking at the whole He-Man set over there, so. No, because good or chaotic neutral is completely throws that off. Does he carry a sword? No. Okay. Good. Chaotic neutral. What I mean by that is he'd maybe be on like Hold on. Bart is, Simpson level, you know. Is that, is 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 he an animal he? Yes. That narrows the playing field a whole lot. Anthony, I pass my question to you. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> I don't know. I'm thinking. I don't know. Uh, so it's a... Oh, man. All right. Is it so a male... two-pack? Is what? Is it a two-pack? No. That's ten. Halfway there, guys. I'm going to go get him. Don't ask me a question quite yet. All right. Cartoon male. All right, Anthony, we got a second. All right. Cartoon male before. I, I feel it's something like Tom and Jerry era based, maybe even Tom or Jerry. But I don't know. I don't know. If, I don't know if those are part of the collection. You know what I mean? All right, I got my ears back on. Okay, you guys can start asking questions again. Okay, is he a mouth? Is he a what? Mouth. A mouth? God damn it. Mouth. No. All right. Give me one second. (laughs) See, I'm not cheating with your stash. Is he yellow? Oh, oh. Part of him. Now, you guys should maybe try to be narrowing it down to what kind of series or where it airs or. Well, I was kind of help doing you. that. My, my color question kind of gave me a lot of. All right. <laughs> Just trying to guide you guys be your 20 questions sensei <laughs> i'm trying to find you on stash i have an idea i just need to narrow it down where are you funkozoid <laughs> you'll have lots of fun looking through it here you are. Okay. No, it's not that one. All right, let's scan by number. It's not a lot of great ways to break them down in stash. No, there isn't. In a few in a few of the ways, pull some of them out. Now, I could grow old before you guys answer another question here. We better. (laughs) Not getting younger here. Dave, we got questions. We could could build more. (laughs) I'm scanning through this. Um... Alexa, play a theme from Jeopardy. 
Oh, the Jeopardy skill can't help you with that. You want to play <laughs> today's clues? Shut up, Alex Trebek. Okay. The Jeopardy skill can't help you with that. <laughs> Okay, it's been like two minutes since you've asked a question. Was he surrounded by a bunch of cats? A bunch? No. <laughs> Was he a cat? Yes. I believe he is. Anthony, you damn genius, you. All right. Um, is he a Thundercat? No. Well, so Does, for that. <laughs> is, is, is he somewhat friendly with a mouse? No. Um... So he's around a bunch of cats. No, he's not. Not around a bunch of cats. Oh, damn. Dude. <laughs> I mean, when you got 10,000 pops to go through on Stashopedia, how can I do that? Don't cheat. Try to guess. Maybe uh, try to get, like, what kind of animation studio or what kind of channel or... Uh, the Warner Brothers What kind product. of genre? Warner Brothers. Um, I... Don't believe so, or it's at least not directly released on Warner Brothers. Is it Tweety Bird? Yeah, well, Tweety Bird is not a cat, so. <laughs> Whatever, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> that one didn't count. That was just playing. Yep. David, mm -hmm. you're why we can't have nice things. I know, right? Anthony, go. It's your turn. Yep, oh, Anthony I said he's done. Yeah. <laughs> you made him check out. Mm. No, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. My battery was. Um, Hold on. Man, Hold I'm, on. I'm, I'm, I don't even know what kind of question to ask now. Um, man. He's a cartoon character that's a cat. Ooh, is it Top Cat? No. Wow. Is it a Hanna Barbera pop? No. And it's not Tom from Tom and Jerry. You guys are bad. I'm going to give you a hint. Sometimes I try to do things and it doesn't work out the way I want it to. And I get real frustrated. And I'm like, I try hard to do it. And I'm like, try and take my time. And it doesn't work out the way I want it to. It's like I concentrate on it real hard, but it doesn't work out. And everything I do, everything I try never turns out. You don't I, even know that voice? No. No, but I want to. I hold on a second. I I'm gonna know. throw you a bone and say that it generally airs on Sunday nights. That that, that still don't help me. <laughs> um, what animation channel special is on Sunday nights on the Cartoon Network? I don't know. I don't watch. I don't get to watch much TV. What is it? What is it called when they don't let uh, the kids swim? All right, so it's something adult on Adult Swim. Adult Swim. So it's something on Adult Swim. That's a cat. It's not a current. It hasn't been on for a while now. But he's been on more than one Adult Swim show. I gotta have to fold because I don't. I've never watched that show really. So that that kind of totally eliminates me because I don't even know characters to make an educated guess. 
You never watched Space Ghost Coast to Coast? No. Mm -mm. Me neither. Well, there was a character on Space Ghost Coast to Coast who eventually got his own TV show, and that is Brack. Oh. Oh. That's that. Wow. Stumped. 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 Totally stumped. <laughs> I can't believe you guys have watched Brack show. That show is great. It's fantastic. I've seen them, but yeah, not not like religiously watched or anything. In fact, the song I was playing was him doing a cover of Institutionalized by Suicidal Tendencies. <laughs> I knew the song. I didn't know the character. I really thinned out. And out there, don't wait till I'm going, Hey, Brack, you know, you know, you've been noticing you've been having a lot of problems lately. You know, you should make... But no, it's well, a good show. Well, that was Thumb City. So good for you, Mark. Yeah. You've you've officially taken a lead. <laughs> if we have uh -huh. a more cards. But yeah, man, that's uh, that was great, Mark. That that was that was fun. <laughs> I hear. Really I thought that was going to be an easier one because I, I was going to be really mean and I was going to have it be Mitch from uh, Baywatch this week, but uh, which would have been no fun at all. Yeah, I would have never guess. got that. Never. Oh, I've got a lot of these weird random ones that uh, will, will be nightmares for you guys. Okay, we have to make one rule before the show goes off the air tonight. What? You cannot use any saga pops since David and I have probably no idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Nah, I'd, I'd pick something weird, stranger than that. No, like, uh, like you just did, because for me that's you know completely foreign. Oh yeah, because we got Brack and we got Space Ghost. I want to say that they were. Are they Gemini or no? These might have been Fugitive Toy exclusives. I can't remember who did those ones. Let me take a look. But I love my Brack Pop. God, you never watched Space Ghost was a great show, too. Let's see here. Oh, it always gets dumb when I'm on my home network for whatever reason. All right, Sash, come up and go. Break. So, Brack, so was toy, Brack was Toy Tokyo. Was it? Yeah. Toy Tokyo? Yep. You're right. Oh! And he <laughs> is, is Hanna-Barbera. Oh, oh. oh, it would that would have just thrown you down the wrong, the wrong course. Anyway, oh yeah, so. without a doubt. Because he's not your average uh, Hanna Barbera character, so I was wrong there. But uh, I think that uh, <laughs> so uh, so aside from pops, anybody see any good movies? Taken any other good pop culture this week? No, not leaving no. up to the holiday. Leading up to the holiday was more just preparation. Yeah, uh, exactly. Same here. It was a quiet. It was a quiet week all around. I actually, I actually watched with my wife earlier, Kick Ass, for the first time. That's a great so, movie. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. So she she put it on to me. We're we're gonna watch the second one after. This. Not as good. Not as yeah, definitely not. As good. But I know it's out there, so I got to see it. Well, I I watched this week. I watched. A couple movies I watched this week. I watched the the Spy Who Dumped Me with Mina Kunis and uh, oh the blonde girl from uh, Kate McKinnon from uh, Saturday Night Live. And that was actually kind of better than I thought it would be. And then I slept through a lot of the Happy Town, the ha that Happy Time Murders today. <laughs> and that was that was interesting. And then I watched uh, A Star is Born this week, too. How was that? It was really good. Okay, good. No, no, I can definitely see why it's going to be up for Best Picture. It, uh, Bradley Cooper was really, really good. And Lady Gaga was really, really good. And, uh, oh, what's that guy's name? Sam. Uh, the big, tall guy with white hair that's in every cowboy movie. And he, I think he was in Tombstone as one of the Earp brothers. And I can't think. Oh, let me see here. He, he has to be one of the main actors listed here. Sam Elliott. Oh. oh, okay. Yeah, he's in it, and he's really good. No, it was... I mean, it's the third version of the movie. They, they made it with, like, I think, Bette Midler, and they also made it way back in the day with Judy Garland. So, uh, but it uh, was actually very relevant, especially uh, for even, like, Lady Gaga's career. So, no, she, it was pretty good. She blows my mind. She's awesome. Yeah, yeah. she really is. She can do anything. Well, yeah, she's really but... adapted, and now, you know, 
she can actually just be herself now and doesn't have to wear meat dresses and all that other stuff, you know. <laughs> so true. She doesn't have to do stunts for attention anymore, and uh, that's pretty cool. I mean, she was really good on the seasons that she was on uh, American Horror Story too. Like those are the seasons I stopped after Coven. We've yeah, only I watched, watched the first one. That was it. We've only watched the first two episodes, I think, of the new new one, Apocalypse. But that calls back to a lot of the old ones because yes. one of the main one of the main characters is that little kid that murders his nanny at the end of the first season. It, there's there's he's a lot in of, it, and it, there's Coven people in it too. There's every single season episode people in it. Oh there's really? One where, oh, interesting. And 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 you're gonna see a lot of a certain actor because he fulfills a lot of previous characters. So oh yeah, what's his name? The guy that plays somebody, one of the main characters in every single season. But no, yeah, no, that's that that that's that's a good show. But we just have to, we try to watch like every show in the whole world, and you know, just even just trying to keep up a lot of the Berlanti shows, you know, on a uh, CW and now on the DC network, and but we've only watched the first episode of Titans so far. But now Titans is already getting a spinoff uh, with Doom Patrol. So oh my oh my goodness, what's that? Is that CW? Nope, uh, the DC streaming network. Oh, it's not even on oh, regular TV. Nope, it's on the DC streaming network, and because Berlanti verse is definitely the CW because they he has all the DC shows on there, and he's got Riverdale, and then he's got Sabrina, which was going to be on the CW and be a direct spinoff of Riverdale, but now is just off on its own on uh, Netflix. Well, hmm. I got I got a lot to catch up on. That's for sure. Yeah, me, me too. Definitely. I have to. I get to see Daredevil season three, and that's my next big one. So yeah, I I'm still so far behind in all the Marvel ones. Amy, up, Amy, 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 Amy doesn't watch any of them, so I have to find time to watch them myself. You know, and balancing that and playing games because I, I just bought a bunch of games for Black Friday, too. So I picked up a uh, Far Cry Five finally because I'd skipped that, and I got David. I got the Assassin's Creed. Yeah, it's good now. man, and Far Cry is really good. Yeah, and then I bought. I bought Mortal Kombat XL because I didn't have the expansion that let you be um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre and some of the other ones. And they had the whole game for $6 or I could pay like 15 for oh, the expansion. You, you, you can't so, beat that. Yeah. And I mean, they, they had Sony had some great deals. I mean, they had like, they had a uh, Batman's uh, return to Arkham, which is Arkham city and Arkham asylum for five bucks for the two games on PS4 oh, such a good one. Uh, last of us for five bucks. And if you haven't played last of us, that's one of the best games of all time. So, but I'm still trying to get through um, Red Dead Two, and uh, so I'm gonna wait a little bit. I bought the Uber Assassin's Creed one, so I got the season pass and everything. So I get Assassin's Creed Revelation, Revelations, and uh, or no, Ascension, whatever the, the the Vita one was, and you get Assassin's Creed Three Remaster when those two come out next year. So, and then I bought the season pass for. Far Cry 5, so I got Far Cry 3 remaster because Far Cry 3 is great. Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely yeah, has one. Of... You guys are talking Japanese to me. <laughs> I, but you really like it? I, I, I never played. Japanese. I think I talk in Japanese. I think I like it. No, um, <laughs> yeah, no. Do you play games at all? No. I'm sorry. No, yeah. I, I don't have the time, is just I can't dedicate it. Understandable. Well, you know, we're, we're playing a lot of Fallout, but I, I feel like I'm being apologetic for Fallout. The reviews are coming out, and they're not good. And uh, No, I made it to the first camp, and it crashed on me. So <clears throat> that's the first time I played it, and last time so far. It's 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 Minecraft for grown-ups is what it is, and uh, it, it's fun. But uh, it's you have to have the right expectations going into it. It's not like the other Fallout games. There's almost no story interaction. You just listen to holotapes. But you get to play with your friends now, and that's kind of fun. So, because I've been playing with uh, P Town and then DJ, who was in the chat earlier, we've all been playing that together. And uh, no, it's it's pretty fun. Better than what I've seen the reviews for it, but it it it's gonna evolve because Bethesda puts a lot of work in their games, and they'll they'll keep polishing this turd until it gets to be a good game. So, oh yeah, definitely. Alrighty. Well, I think that's it for us tonight. 
since we're oh, almost at the two hour mark now. 120 minutes. Amazing old MTV show. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I know. You know, I, in fact, you know, speaking of old, like 90s alternative. Now, I don't know if either of you guys listened, but I was uh, looking through my vinyl the other day and I pulled out a. Uh, do you ever, either of you listen to the first uh, Mr. Bungle album? No. Were either of you Faith No More fans? No. I mean, so, I'm sure I've heard the songs, but... Well, Faith No More, you know, epic. Yeah, uh, of course. Yeah. Falling, spawn pieces, small victory. But uh, no, it was uh, the lead singer, Mick Patton from Faith No More, did this band that was this weird metal, jazz, circus music, um, all ska, all fused into one. And wow. it's uh, the most weird, eclectic, like, just even like the opening song was originally put out and it was called Travolta, but then Warner Brothers made them change it to quote unquote. I mean, they have, they have one song where for like a minute and a half, he just says redundant over and over again. <laughs> wow. wow. Songs, like, songs about having sex with food, the songs about the family dog. It, it's, it's the weirdest, most wonderful. You, you should give the, 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 the self-titled album a try one day, but you, you have to listen to it with an open mind. And then, uh, Listen to the whole album. And <laughs> it, what's it I, called again? That's a deal. Mr. Bungle. Mr. Bungle. <clears throat> you're, you're never going to find an album with more more time changes and more from going to just like Calliope circus music to just heavy guitars. And uh, yeah, a Amy wow. always, Amy, wanna... Amy does not like them. And... Well, he's, not, he's out there as it is, not in a bad way. He's just yeah. Oh yeah, he's he's definitely uh, Faith the Mars is one of my all time favorite bands. So that's what got me into oh. Mr. Bungle. But then when they did Mr. Bungle, they all used fake names and they would play for their whole first their first album tour. They all were in masks. And very, uh, very interesting. They they completely came out of left field. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna have to check this out. Yeah. Oh, it's it's in every song's very different. So uh, I'd say listen to the first song and. If that doesn't hook you, jump to like Stub a Dub. That's the the song about the, the, the guitar player's family dog. Okay. That uh, go it follows the whole life of their family dog. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, no, it's it, it's a good album, and uh, I, I have the one of the. It was I don't know. It wasn't a record store Black Friday one. It was uh just, but it's I got the picture disc version of it. Well, it's not. It was uh I think it's on two discs in the fourth side has because the, there's a big clown face on the cover of the the one and then there, there's a clown like dead in the gutter on the back of it but uh it's it's a happy <laughs> it's a happy thing but no i was watching something on youtube uh about the whole thought process behind the album and it was really interesting so that's what got me going and i was going oh, i gotta ask you guys if you guys had ever listened to them so no, but okay they're, they're definitely gonna enter my ears i want to see what this is all about oh yeah it's it's you're not you're not going to be able to say they sound like anybody else right. and you know they, they've had fights because uh i know anthony kiedis got really mad at mike Patton at one point in time and so that mike Patton was trying to rip him off vocally so they they m m mr bungle did an entire show as red hot chili peppers where uh wow. they kept pretending to uh like shoot heroin and stuff while they were playing because <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> they because anthony kiedis got them kicked off of a uh, festival because they didn't want them both to be playing there because he didn't like them. So uh, they uh, decided to do a show as the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Egomaniacs ego much? Yeah. Right, yeah. But yeah, no, guys. It was another good week. Look forward to next week. Yeah, uh, definitely, always. I'll have to start thinking about what we want for our topic for next week, but I have a couple on the back burner as usual. So, And we have some great ones that we've talked about that I want to start after the first of the year, so... Can't wait. Yeah. yeah. We, got up. we got a lot coming up. We can't tease that because that's a big one. I know. So, you guys, thanks for watching. Those of you that are watching it not live, great. You know, uh, that's why we do this on YouTube so people right. can watch whatever they yeah, want. Yeah. And uh, I, we probably won't split up and break out the 21 questions this week because it was bad. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty rough. Yeah. Last week's was great. So, and that's why I split that one up. But yeah. So I'm going to sign off, guys. Thank you for watching, as always. Yes, thank you, everybody. Keep coming back. We'll be here. We'll be here every Friday night. Have a good one.